Have you ever wanted to hear God speak audibly? I think I have the answer for you today in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, many of us have obviously wanted to hear the audible voice of God. Had a friend give me the right answer. He said, hey, you want to do that? Go get your Bible, open it up to any page, and start reading out loud. Okay, I'm being a little facetious, but you understand what I'm saying. The Bible is God's word to us. Listen to what it says in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Every word is inspired by God and it's profitable for doctrine. It's for reproof, for construction, or I'm sorry, correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Scripture, we profit from the doctrine. It teaches us how to live, the proper character that we should have. It's for reproof and correction. It lets us know when we're doing wrong, areas in our life that we need to improve. It instructs us in righteousness as to how to properly live. And why all that? That we can be complete. Don't you wanna be complete today as best we can? Thoroughly equipped for all good works. If you read your Bible and listen to what God says to you, you can equip yourself for the good works that God expects out of your life, the fruits that we've talked about. So don't take your Bible for granted. I was looking around the house. I have 15 to 20 Bibles sitting around my home. And then I was quickly reminded of a video I saw of a schoolroom full of children somewhere in the Far East and they were each given their first Bible for the first time. And as the boxes were opened up, you saw the teacher passing out a Bible to each student, <clears throat> still wrapped in cellophane. And the look on those children's faces, I will never forget. It was one of awe. Many of them broke down crying. Some took that book and hugged it to their chest couldn't say a word. One little girl was rubbing it on her face, hadn't taken it out of the package yet, was so in awe that she had her own word of God. That's my challenge for you today. Don't take your Bible for granted. It is the true word of God. May you cherish it with the same awe that those children did something to think about today. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.